Thank you, Victor. It's a pleasure to be here with you and uh, Ken. So uh, I'm going to be talking about the yellow subthreshold laser in a study we did uh, comparing with PDT in eyes with chronic central serous queer retinopathy. These are my disclosures, my co-authors. And you will probably all know that uh, central serous queer retinopathy is characterized by choroidal hyperpermeability, pigment epithelial detachments, and retinal neurosensory detachments. In most patients, you are aware there is spontaneous resolution, but in some patients, the disease becomes chronic with ensuing visual loss. So what do we do for those patients that have visual loss from chronic central serous retinopathy? Standard of care has been using vertiporphin PDT to treat these eyes. However, PDT has uh, some adverse effects that include a transient reduction of macular function, RP atrophy, choroidal non-perfusion, and even secondary CNV. In the hopes of reducing the uh, iatrogenic effects of PDT, these investigators from Taiwan decided to compare PDT protocols uh, in improving best corrective visual acuity and eliminating subretinal fluid uh, using half dose or half fluence of laser light. And despite these measures, the choroidal hyperperfusion still occurred. Uh, Ken already told you about the subthreshold laser, so I'm not really going to go dwell too much into detail. He, this is the, so the ideal subthreshold laser, in my mind, is that need a yellow wavelength for the reasons that uh, Ken already told you about, the multi-spot technology in a low-duty cycle. So, go here. So the importance of multi-spot in sub-threshold, and I want to emphasize this, is that confluent laser therapy is possible, and you have a lower risk of undertreatment with the multi-spot. And the monospot is very difficult in doing a sub-threshold laser. And remember that the most common cause of treatment failure is under-treatment. So you really want to ensure that you get all the area treated. You really need the, the patterns with the multi-spot. So this was a study where the purpose was to compare the functional and anatomical outcomes of eyes with chronic central serous chorion retinopathy treated with yellow subthreshold laser versus half dose PDT at 12 months of follow-up. <clears throat> this was a retrospective a comparative study of 66 eyes that were treated with yellow subthreshold laser and 67 eyes treated with half dose PDT. And the definition of chronic CSR was, uh, we define this as persistent subretinal fluid for six or more months. The methods in terms of subthreshold laser, Ken already told you what the parameters was. Uh, this was duty cycle of 5%, the pulse duration of 200 milliseconds. And this is important, no spacing between burns. So this was a high density grid pattern. The spot size varied from 100 to 200 microns. And we also did power titration, where we had a single spot under the subthreshold mode outside the arcades until a barely visible uh, burn and then turn down the power to 50%. And the power in, in this case ranged from 320 milliwatts to 660 milliwatts. In terms of PDT, this was half dose, so three milligrams in, uh, per meter square of visodyne. After a 10 minute infusion, the laser was activated for 83 seconds. And the spot sizes range from anywhere from 400 to 2,000 microns. This is a comparative chart where you can see the baseline characteristic between the two groups. And you can actually see that they're pretty balanced uh, in terms of baseline characteristics, both the subthreshold and the PDT groups. Uh, at 12 months, uh, these were the results. And you can see uh, these are comparisons between groups. So it's not, we're not really comparing the subthreshold to the PDT, but we're comparing the, the outcomes within the group. So here you see, for instance, in the subthreshold baseline and the subthreshold at 12 months, that after the treatment, there was a statistically significant decrease in central macular thickness, uh, no change in terms of subfoveal choroidal thickness, but there was an improvement in best corrected visual acuity. In the PDT group, uh, there was an improvement in the CMT, also in the subfoveal choroidal thickness, 
But the visual acuity didn't improve that, uh, didn't improve at all. Here, uh, we look at the visual results with more detail, and you can see here that the visual results are better with the subthreshold laser compared to the PDT. You see more gainers in terms of three-line gainers in the subthreshold group compared to the PDT, and uh, uh, there's a shift toward better visual acuities in the subthreshold group as compared to the PDT group. In terms of recurrences, uh, the subthreshold group uh, you can see that uh, the, the average number of treatments was 1.33 with a range of 1 to 4. In the PDT group, there was a 10% uh, recurrence with uh, 1.19 treatments with a range of 1, 3, 1 to 3 treatments. In terms of complications, in the subthreshold group, there were none at 12 months of follow-up. In the PDT group, the one eye developed choroidal neovascularization and was treated with three intravitreal injections of bevacizumab. Let me show you a case. So this is a pre-subthreshold uh, la uh, laser case, and you can see there from the OCT, the areas of hyperpermeability in the ICG, 2080, and following the, uh, the laser, you get uh, an improvement in visual acuity to 2030. Here's a case of the half-dose PDT. You can see here the fluorescein and also the ICG. You can see the serous detachment in the macular area. And the pre and the post uh, half-dose PDT, 2200 to 2070. So uh, a similar study has been published in the literature. This is uh, Sasha Fauser's uh, group uh, where they also treated uh, 42 eyes with the yellow subthreshold, 58 eyes treated with half-dose PDT, and they showed that the yellow subthreshold laser was more effective in eliciting the response than the half-dose PDT, which was in line with our results. So in conclusion, both the half-dose PDT and uh, the yellow subthreshold laser are effective in restoring the macular anatomy in eyes with chronic central serous coronary retinopathy. It appears that the yellow uh, subthreshold laser has a more beneficial effect in visual acuity than half-dose PDT. Thank you very much for your attention.